Corton makes now officially down 78% during the last 52 weeks, and it is down about 85% from its all-time high in April 2021. If you had bought a position back then and only held between then and now, that would suck. You would be down massively, and it would be completely understandable if you were stressed the freak out. Now, if you were that attached to those funds, perhaps investing that money into a mining startup wasn't the best idea in the first place. But that is an entirely different discussion. Today's topic is my general feeling towards Cortomic. Am I worried about my investment in the company? I should remind you, this stock is currently worth about 40% of my private investment portfolio. And my cost basis is about 60 Canadian cents per share. That is to say, I went full degen mode into the company and I am heavily invested into the long-term success of Quartomic. So here are my thoughts. Am I worried? Short answer, no. And there is a rational reason for that. You see, the company continues to release very interesting news reports over time. For example, this one, where the company found a graphite vein on their Alcum property with a total graphite content in excess of 50%. Or this recent one, where the company announced their letter of intent with Graphex technology. Basically, Cortomic is actively looking for partners to get their vein graphite into anode material. Or this news report, where the company completed a maiden NI43101 research estimation for their Capim Crosso property, or their second graphite property. So it seems that the company is still progressing towards their goal of selling high purity fang graphite as soon as freaking possible. But of course it isn't all rosy and sunshine, there are a couple of serious disappointments. For example, the company announced product in back in April 2022. This report basically meant that the company processed its first ton of fang graphite through its processing facility at Occam. And investors, including myself, and rightfully so, expected an operational processing facility reasonably soon after that news report. But the company hasn't been able to deliver on that yet this Arkham processing facility still isn't operational. And we now know from a couple of communications from the company that the company, Cortomic, is still waiting on a handful of parts for its processing facility. And now, after a lot of tweaking between the original product impact news report and today, the processing facility should become operational during the first half of 2023. Therefore, I believe that these missed deadlines are a big driver for the negative sentiment around Cortomic. But I do want to emphasize that for these mining startup companies, delays are a fundamental part of the game. If you start looking, I believe you might only be able to find a handful of companies which were actually able to deliver on the timelines set out when they originally started their projects. Most, if not all, junior mining companies suffer from delays stemming from jurisdiction, legislation, engineering, or sometimes for reasons as stupid as the weather. That is to say, I do believe we have to cut the company some slack. Now, I would love to share this series of photos I've stumbled across on Reddit. I couldn't find these photos anywhere on the Cortomic website, but they do seem to be taken pretty recently. Now, a couple of questions. Does this benching that the company is doing here right on the mountain look like the company is just sitting on their hands? Do these piles of graphite look like the company isn't also anxiously waiting to get their processing facility up and running? Does this darn vein of graphite not look like a lot of freaking money? in the ground. I don't know about you, but these pictures scream high purity graphite, resilience and hard work to me. Sure, those original deadlines were missed significantly. And to be honest, aside from Black Swan events happening, I need Cortomic to get Arkham operational somewhere during 2023. If not, my investment doesn't make sense any longer. This isn't really a hard deadline and I do believe context matters a lot. But Cortomic needs to get their shit together or I will jump the ship. Now, this is a question I continue to ask myself. If I stumbled upon Cortomic today as it currently is, would I still buy up a position today? And yes, as Cortomic currently is, I would still buy up the position I bought up in the past. And until that changes, until I wouldn't buy Cortomic any longer because the story changes, until that day, I will continue to hold Cortomic. 
or of course if Cryptomic finally decides to moon because their processing facility became operational, I might also sell then. Anyways, more on Cryptomic on this YouTube channel reasonably soon. Cryptomic should be the topic of my Graphite Talk series, the next episode or the episode after that. So keep your eyes open for my updated 2023 Cryptomic investment thesis. And until then, time for a classic YouTuber disclaimer. While I am a registered financial advisor in the Netherlands, I do not have the legal capacity yet to give anyone investment advice. Therefore, this video and any other video on this YouTube channel can never be taken as financial advice. I cannot be held liable for the losses you make while trading according to my opinions. Please do your own due diligence. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Peace.